George Lambert, in charge of security. And I just want to remind you that the safety of our guests and our dinosaurs, well, that's the job we want. Interesting. And at Montasaurus. This is an herbivore that can move on all four feet or go upright and walk on its hindquarters. We should be able to control and monitor this species more easily than some of the others. Use that to your advantage as you plan out the park. especially mistakes. Make sure you're paying attention to the details or you'll be hearing from me. Who am I? Dr. Henry Wu. Ah, the Crichtonsaurus. Named after the author, Michael Crichton. Famous for his stories about infectious viruses, sentient nanobots, and also a novel on ancient animals which I quite enjoyed. This is a social dinosaur that does well in groups. They call this the Ankylosaurus, 
I call it an armored ball of walking, breathing trouble. Still, some might call it charming, amusing, delightful. <laughs> Each to their own.
I'd ask what brings you here, but I'm not sure I'd get an answer. <laughs> I find myself tasked with assessing the danger that these prehistoric animals pose. I can't help but be in awe of these stunning creatures. The Barbarodactylus, for instance, casts a striking shadow thanks to its boomerang-shaped wingspan. People often talk about the thrill of the chase, but if you got one of these on your tail, you'll soon become the kill of the chase. This right here is the Atrociraptor, a truly tenacious hunter, and it is simply relentless. At least, that's what I'm told. <laughs> I don't intend to find out firsthand.
you ask me, I think this animal gets a bad rap. Back when fossils were all scientists had to go on, this Mongolian dune dweller was branded an egg thief. But you know what? It was really just looking out for its own. So as far as I'm concerned, the Oviraptor is all right in my books. <laughs>